Well, hello, friends. It's John from John Haverstick Photography here again today with another uh, Photoshop tutorial for you. A uh, topic of conversation came up on one of the uh, forums that I uh, follow in regard to fixing an image with mixed lighting. Now, our cameras are pretty remarkable when it comes to uh, neutralizing a color cast in a scene where there's basically one dominant light source. But in a situation like this, a uh, real estate shot where we have a beautiful uh, kitchen and dining uh, area where the kitchen portion over here on the left is lit predominantly by tungsten light and the breakfast nook area here on the right is lit by daylight coming through this gorgeous bay window. I don't mind the contrast between daylight and tungsten, the blue and the yellow, but I would like to see it maybe a little less obviously different. And so we're going to take this into Adobe Camera Raw and using um, uh, Camera Raw's white balance sampler tool and uh, smart objects. This is uh, sort of the trick to this process. We're going to fix this image uh, very, very quickly to kind of even out the tone a little bit. I don't want to eliminate it entirely, just kind of even it out just a, a tad. So here we have the original uh, image uh, opened up in Adobe Camera Raw. You could do this in Lightroom as well, and it will work the same way. But uh, what I want to do is I want to focus on just one half of the image at the moment. I'm going to focus on the left-hand side here, the kitchen, where it's lit predominantly by tungsten. Now, ideally, I would have a neutral uh, gray reference in here for white balance, but I, I don't. I wasn't shot with that in mind. So I'm going to choose Photoshop's white balance sampler tool here in uh, uh, Camera Raw. Click on that little eyedropper icon. And I'm going to find something in the left side of the image that should be maybe not is, but should be a neutral white, and that's lit by tungsten. So I'm looking at this little light panel here, and I'm going to click on that. Uh, it's a little light switch here under the, the counters. And that pretty much neutralizes the yellow cast of the um, uh, tungsten lighting on the left-hand side. Now, it also makes the right side of the image very, very blue, but we're not going to worry about that right at the moment. Now, to my taste, that's a little too neutral, a little too not warm anymore, so I'm going to come up here to the temperature slider in the camera raw uh, basic controls and just nudge it ever so slightly to the right just so to bring back a little bit of that tungsten warmth in the left hand side of the image, maybe to about there. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, so we've got the left hand side of the image the way we want it. The right hand side's really way too blue, so we're going to deal with that in a moment. But first, we need to open this image into Photoshop's editing workspace in a slightly different way than you normally would. Typically, you'd make your adjustments in Camera Raw, you just click Open Image down here at the bottom. But in this case, we want to open this image as a smart object for reasons that will become clear in just a moment. So we're going to hold down the Shift key, and you notice when we do that that the Open Image button changes to Open Object. That's what we want. So hold down the Shift key, click on Open Object, and that will open the image up into Photoshop's uh, editing workspace. And you'll notice, it's kind of hard to see in this particular uh, thumbnail, but there's a little icon here at the bottom right corner of the thumbnail that tells us that this particular layer is a smart object. That means, for our purposes, that we can double click on that image thumbnail and it will take us right back to Camera Raw. So if I got it into Photoshop and thought, well, you know, I really don't like the exposure, or don't like the color temperature, or something like that, I can double click on it, make my, uh, it goes right back to Camera Raw, make some additional adjustments, click OK, takes me right back into Photoshop with those new Camera Raw adjustments applied. Well, that's all well and good, but what I need now is to fix the right-hand uh, side of this image. Um, normally, what we would think to do would be to duplicate this uh, smart object, you know, uh, control click and and uh, choose duplicate, but the uh, the problem with that is uh, that unless I make a special kind of copy of this smart object, the copy and the original smart object are effectively the same. So that is, if I edit one of them, the changes that I make apply to both of them and any other copies that are derived from that original image. So what I have to do here instead is right click on the, the layer label area and choose a special kind of copy for this. This is called New Smart Object via Copy. And the keyword here is New Smart Object. What this does is copies the layer, uh, that smart object layer, but it breaks the linkage between the original and the copy so that now I can take my copy by double clicking on it back to Adobe Camera Raw and do the same thing I did for the left hand side of the image earlier except this time I'm going to do it for the right hand side of the image. I'm going to come in here with the uh, Camera Raw uh, white 
little balance tool. And I'm going to try clicking here on this switch plate that's lit uh, by daylight coming in through these windows here. Click. Okay, that's not the good place. Let's try another one. Uh, let's see, that's a little funky colored as well. Let's try some white down here. Yeah, that's okay. I want a little bit more blue than that. Again, pay no regard to the uh, left side of the image. Just take a look at the right side. That's what we're trying to kind of neutralize here. So I'm going to dial it back just a little bit because I personally do like a little bit of that daylight uh, blue coming in there. And I'm also going to dial the exposure down just a hair for that side. Okay, so again, don't pay any attention to the left side. We're only looking at the right side uh, of the image, this breakfast nook area. Now, notice when we're done then, just like before, when we came back from Photoshop to Camera Raw, we have an OK button. This applies the changes to that uh, uh, layer uh, when we go back to Photoshop, and that's our kitchen original copy layer. So here's the last one we adjusted for the right-hand side. I'll hide that, and there's the, the version of the image adjusted for the left-hand side. Now the trick is, how do we blend the two together? Well, the easiest way to do that in this case is probably with a layer mask and using a, a gradient tool, linear gradient. So I'm going to come up to the top layer, add a layer mask, and grab my gradient tool, or G for gradient. Make sure I've got foreground, or, or sorry, black to uh, white selected, and I'm going to choose linear gradient as my gradient style. I'm going to come down here to the uh, about the middle of the image and just drag horizontally across the middle, sort of where that transition zone is between the um, the two halves of the kitchen. And you can see the gradient appear over here in the mask. Um, if I want it to be a little more subtle transition, I'll just drag a little further from left to right. There we go. And when we're done with that, if we're happy with that, we just click Save. To save that as a uh, Photoshop file, I would keep it as a layered Photoshop file in case I want to come back and adjust it later. Uh, but then you could also save a copy as a JPEG to go ahead and put on your website or Facebook or whatever you need to do with it. So there you have it, uh, uh, an Adobe Camera Raw solution to a real-world camera problem uh, with uh, shooting in a situation with really strong mixed light sources uh, where your camera's auto white balance or even a specific manual white balance may not be able to handle the... Uh, the color uh, cast that's generated by that sort of a situation. Thanks again for stopping by. This is John of John Haverstick Photography. Drop in again for another Photoshop tip. See you soon.